we have two parallel treatment systems. This is the 1990 oxidation ditch system. This is the next step in the treatment process after the preliminary treatment. In this treatment process, we utilize biological and chemical processes to remove the nutrients and pollutants that are present in the wastewater. This process consists of an aeration basin and a clarifier. The incoming wastewater enters the aeration basin where it is completely mixed with existing biology we call mixed liquors. Two surface aerators made up of 66 inch diameter discs introduce oxygen to the water and completely mix the 14 foot deep liquid. The microorganisms are mixed throughout the tank. This is called a complete mix process. Microorganisms such as free swimmers and stalked ciliates utilize our waste products as their food source and thereby remove it from the waste stream. This process utilizes a natural process called nitrification to completely remove ammonia from the waste stream. To complete the process, the water remains under aeration for about 20 hours and the microorganisms spend an average lifespan of about 15 days called a sludge age. Before the water enters the clarifier, we add a chemical to further reduce any of the remaining phosphorus the biology wasn't able to utilize. Ferric chloride is added to bond with the phosphorus. The mixing action in the discharge line flocculates the particles together to create larger particles called flock. The water then flows to a clarifier. Here, the water is provided detention time to settle the mixed liquors to the bottom of the tank. A portion of this flow is returned to the aeration basin, which is called return activated sludge. It contains the necessary population of microorganisms to complete the treatment process. To control the sludge age, some of the mixed liquors, called waste activated sludge, are removed and sent to the digester system for further treatment. Any excess fog and biological slime, called scum, floats to the top of the clarifier and is skimmed off and sent to the digester system. At this point in the treatment process, the wastewater has met all the nutrient removal requirements for discharge. The water will now move on to the final step in the treatment process. For more information, please visit the website below. Thank you for watching.